In a hyper-competitive media and telecom landscape, even the biggest companies are feeling the pressure to consolidate as they push for expansion and growth. Verizon is exploring a combination with charter communications that would unite the two companies, according to people familiar with the matter. Sources tell the Wall Street Journal that Verizon CEO Lowell McAdam has made a very preliminary approach to officials close to Charter, which has a market value of more than $80 billion. Verizon is working with advisors to study a potential transaction, and there's no guarantee a deal will materialize. It's also unclear whether Charter executives, including CEO Tom Rutledge, would be open to a transaction. The effort could be complicated by Charter's ownership structure, which includes cable tycoon John Malone and the Newhouse family. So how could a deal benefit both companies? A combination would bring together Verizon's more than 14 million wireless subscribers and what remains of its landline business with Charter's cable network, which provides television to 17 million customers and broadband connections to 21 million. Verizon has a market cap of $194 billion and more than $100 billion in debt. One major question is whether the deal would get past antitrust regulators, especially in the new political environment. President Donald Trump expressed concerns about media consolidation in October. AT&T is buying Time Warner and thus CNN, a deal we will not approve in my administration because it's too much concentration of power in the hands of too few. Both companies face challenges to their core businesses. Growth in the U.S. wireless cable industry has slowed and pricing pressure has chipped away at profits. Furthermore, the cable TV business is threatened by cord cutters and over-the-top video services, as companies like Netflix draw eyeballs further away from the traditional cable business.